In this guided lab, we will create a VPC pairing connection. So if you recall what we did in lab six, we actually create a VPC and then we were like offered a shared VPC and we have been told in lab six that we are going to do and use this shared VPC later on. So in this particular lab, we will create a VPC pairing connection and that VPC pairing connection will happen between lab VPC and the shared VPC lab. So as you can see here in the diagram, we have a MySQL instance in the shared VPC and we want to pair it with our application server in the lab VPC. So let us now start work on the task and we will do in step number five, we will go to the AWS. And in my AWS account, I would like to access the VPC console and from there we will create a VPC peering. Now I uh, would like to move these two tabs so I can navigate easily between them so let's go and to the peering connection and you want to create a peering connection following these parameters it will call the lab peer. Now the VPC that we want to request is going to be the lab VPC and this is the IP address of the lab VPC we want to select another VPC in my account or you can also add another VPC in another account if you have permission to so the acceptor will be the shared VPC and you can see that it has a different CIDR um, IP address and just to create the peering connection now after this finished we want to go and select the lab peer and from the action we want to accept the request so we are going to go to the peering connection select it and from action we want to accept the request because basically we have the requester and the acceptor from the same account so we need to do this step here now we need to configure the route table and this now will take us to the route table and in the lab public route table for the lab vpc we want to add and edit the route so we add a route for the ip address of the shared vpc and this is basically going to be uh, the path that we take every time we want to communicate with the shared vpc so in the lab public route table double check guys because it's very important to do this correctly when go to the routes edit and we add a route to this ip address and this is going to be the destination for this it should be the peering connection that we just created which is the lab peer and save changes now in step number 14 we want to select the shared vpc route table and in that vpc route table we want to edit the route and now we put path to the lab vpc so it's, it's going to be the other direction for the communication so in the shared vpc route table go to the routes edit and add a route and we will make this pointing to the lab vpc and this is also will be the pairing connection that we just created in the previous step and then save now we want to test the uh, VPC peering, so we need to go to the EC2 and from the EC2 we have our application server. As you can see the application server here in the instances is located in the lab VPC in the public subnet and we want to check that this lab VPC is basically enabling us to access the RDS. So if you go back to the lab instruction, they are going to give us a few um, configuration settings for the database. So we need to go and we open the RDS as well. Let us open it in a new tab. And from that a new tab, we want to go to the RDS and basically retrieve the endpoint. So we need to go to the inventory database, 
select the inventory now go back to your database server and in the settings we want to paste the inventory database now the database name is called inventory and the username is going to be admin and the password is going to be lab password click save and you can see i have access so basically by this we finish the lab we could submit the work and in the lab as well after submitting thank you uh, for seeing this video and see you in the next lab